The crisis in River State continues as the former governor of River State, Nyeso Miki, actually threw shit as a governor Fubara. Here's the video. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Our founding daughter, Dr. Chidima Adeze Ore, the Honorable Commissioner for Health with the State. Our elder and special brother, Elder Samuel Njama, Director General, the State Pensions Board. Right Reverend Obonaya John, the book reviewer. One of our political elders and uh, a juggernaut, Chief Oris Banyeri. <laughs> our big brother, Dr. Sonny Ajay. You're very welcome, sir. May I also recognize engineer Vincent Nadia Chumari of Overland. <laughs> the Ubo of Overland, Dr. Shedrak Akuloku. I also recognize Mr. and Mrs. Sonia Madi, the chief of Vela, and not the least, because sometimes they say the last is the biggest. My own special brother and friend, Professor Jesse Osa. And more importantly, the book and his wonderful wife, Chief Ibe Eresia A.K. and his lovely wife. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is a wonderful thing to be here. Reading and learning is endless. They say when a man stops reading, when a man stops learning, that is towards the end of his life. And you biologically as well. If you don't learn, if you don't read, if you don't utilize your brain, your brain begins to die. And that's why sometimes people now have memory loss because they're not utilizing the brain. And that also tells us why someone like uh, Gami found me when he was locked up in prison some years ago. He said he needed to be mentally alert. What did he do? He got bomb vita, empty bomb vita. He was in a dark room. He used the cover to do a reflection, to be reading what was written on the bomb vita card. And he did that every day. The reason was that he wanted to keep his brain alive. And so what I'm saying is that what our brother has done today by putting these nuggets together is to help us to keep our brains alive. Nuggets are words, like he said, in this one of the examples he read out, that somebody is happy. He's not happy because everything is okay. He's happy because he has hope. And that's the kind of words that encourages somebody. Nuggets can be inspirational. Even sometimes when people have suicidal feelings, when they read nuggets, whether biblical nuggets or secular word nuggets, it encourages them to say, no, I'm not the worst. Things can get better. And therefore, Brother Ibe, we can't thank you enough. Because we believe that with this little book, you call it a little book, they say great things come in little packages. This little book is going to impact on our lives. This little book is going to encourage us to also encourage other people. We will encourage people to keep, to put things together. Because if you know where Ibe is coming from, Chief Ibe, he has traversed the world. He has studied in Europe and the UK. He has studied in Nigeria. He has worked, he has served as the first local government chairman in Onelga. So he's endless. He ended up as chairman of transport, the transport company, River State Transport Company. So he has picked up things. And that is a good thing about rendering service. You pick up things that change your lives. You pick up things that make you to be a, so, a resource and that is what Chief Ibe is. So for him to be touched, to put these nuggets, it's not for him, it's for all of us. It's for our children. It's the words for life. 
If anybody wanted to die, you listen to some of those nuggets, you would know there is a hope to be alive. It renews your hope. It renews your uh, imagination. It renews your thoughts to be good, to be something great. So for us, it's wonderful. I'm going to have a couple of them. Uh, to me, I won't tell you how much I want to be, but I would. <laughs> when I open it, I would. But it is something wonderful that we should not take phone home. The good thing about you, you drop it in your bag. When you are in your car, anytime you feel good, read it. If you feel bad, read it. It's a thing that at any given time, it can give you a positive turnaround in your brain, your heart, and your mind. So all we can do is to encourage it so that the bottom two can come, so that the bottom three can come, and we'll continue to spread it and give to the younger ones. The younger ones are no longer doing the reading. What they do is probably all social media, social media. But in addition, we need the hard copies of things like this. So we can pass on the information, pass on the knowledge, and build a greater you know, society and a greater country. Thank you all very much for being here. And for us, that is a prosper. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank mm -hmm. you.